Hi, I see you here with the Gadsden flag. That must mean you're a Republican thug, is that right? No. no. Oh, a thug. Conservative. I independent see. Conservative. I'm independent. Good. I'm glad to hear that. You guys, where's the, the did you get? Have been going in over at the side door. Over yeah, I did notice there was a separate. The SEIU and Acorn been going in over there. I, I noticed that there was a separate entrance for other people. Did you guys get your check from the RNC yet? I, yeah, come on. I seriously, yeah. The no? check I got from the government was when I was in the military. You're an interesting in fellow. Thank you for your service. So not paid, not. Thugs. Don't need to be paid to come and talk talk to our representatives. It's our right and our privilege to be able to do that. They don't want to we don't need a special yeah, door. You know what? I am gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna find out about that special door. Excuse me. Oh let us know. <laughs> yeah, let us know. Hmm. This seems odd. There's a special entrance here. I have a booth. I'm setting up a booth. Thank you. Looks like the masses have to line up here. Stand in line. And if you're handicapped, you can go in through that door because I saw those people and they were clearly handicapped. So that's cool. Do you guys have anything to say about that? Why? Uh, what's what's with the separate entrance here? We're not organizers. You're not organizers for the event. Okay. Are you guys here with any specific group or anything? No, you don't want to? We don't believe anybody anymore. No, it's okay. Do what you're doing. We got It's about uh, seniors and aging, actually. Okay. And that's why we wanted everyone here just to be positive and talk about seniors and aging. Let's say how much. So that's kind of. You got a counter insurgent email. Apparently, right. I don't know. What, what does that mean? The original email that we got that said it was about health care reform. It was a mistake. Yeah. yeah. An email, what, is that like from a group? Yeah, okay. so, um, but that, the second one was actually, was correct. Okay. Um, it was just a mess up. Um, but so you guys are buddies? You she, you guys are just like, he, she's on your email who list? Who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm just me. And why are you shooting, you don't have my permission to shoot me. Well, you're on public property, so you have, don't have the reasonable expectation of privacy. <laughs> so. There are a lot of crazy Right. Oh, it's crazy to know the law. It's insane. It's insane to know the Constitution too. I guess, right? So, what's what's the email? And was it counterinsurgent? Because that sounds creepy. Actually, sir, it is have something in common. We both at one time took an oath to defend the Constitution. Her oath took her to Washington. My oath took me overseas with a rifle. That my 
constitution that I took an oath to, I know that all the powers of the legislative branch of government are confined in Article 1, Section 8, and they have less than 20 enumerated powers. And nowhere in there, as was already touched on earlier, nowhere in there is health care mentioned, which is really health control, which is also mentioned. It's not mentioned anywhere in there, so she has no business except fighting against it. I've mentioned this to politicians before, and they take the Constitution and they turn it into some kind of huge elastic document that they try to wrap around everything. But if you read our Founding Fathers, even they said that the General Welfare Clause, which is what she's probably going to try to use to explain this, even the General Welfare Clause, our Founding Fathers, Thomas Jefferson, uh, James Madison, the father of the Constitution, Benjamin Franklin, and so on, so on, so on, every one of them said that the General Welfare Clause is only to be used within the confines of the enumerated powers in Article 1, Section 8. Claire McCaskill, I'm not so much looking for an explanation from her as I'm looking for an apology because this should not even be introduced. Representative Ellison, are you willing to put your family in this government system which is different from the one you currently use? If you are not willing to put your family on the system, why should the rest of us? All right, next point. We'll answer the question. Thank you, uh, Congressman Ellison. Uh, I just want to say there's not one program that the government has stuck its fingers in, its hands in, including welfare, including Medicare, including Medicaid, that has worked. Our disproportions are because we are being pimped and we are being used and they are not going to get it any better taking care of your life. Thank you.